Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who are new here, my name's Steph, and today I am going to be sharing with you all my Aritzia clientele wish list. I usually do like fall picks and all that sort of stuff, but I think <sighs> I love doing my fall picks, but I think a clientele wish list is a little bit more useful. Now I'm operating off of the assumptions uh, that I've just gleaned from the internet and stuff like that. So typically speaking, clientele happens kind of around Black Friday and usually what happens is there's a like week, two week period that it's only available to clientele that's invite only and then it opens up to the public. But there are a couple of differences between like clientele and the public sale. I will do a whole separate video on clientele details when I actually get into like when I actually get a little bit more information about that and give you guys obviously a better rundown. But what I'm operating on this year is a couple principles. One is that the brands are going to be no more than 20% off. Usually they're 10 to 20, they used to be 10 to 30. And then the uh, non Aritzia in-house brands like Igoldi, Levi's, etc., etc., were 40% uh, off. But this has changed. I know that like cost structures and margins and all that sort of stuff have changed with the Panini press. So things have happened. But usually speaking, also during clientele, this like super puff is 10% off. So I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna do my best to do cutaways, all that jazz. Everything will be linked down below. There are going to be zero affiliate links in this video. But things that are affiliate linked are of course like my everyday makeup and that sort of stuff. And if you use one of those links to purchase, it does not impact you at all. I just get a very small commission off of any purchases made through my links, which help me support this channel. So if you do decide to make a purchase through my link, I really do appreciate it and I would like to thank you. So let's pop into this video. Now, <sighs> I love Aritzia stuff, but if I'm being honest with you, this year, I'm really just, I'm not gonna get too, too much, I don't think, because I think what I wanna get are a little bit more high ticket items. And if I'm being honest with you, um, I'm just not really like, I have other priorities, I have other purchasing priorities, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into my Aritzia account, first of all, because, yeah, so, anyways, so I just, I, I want certain things, I really do, but like my main focus this year is Super Puff and a couple denim items. So, of course, I really want the Super Puff vest, I want just like the classic super puff vest i would love it in maybe like a taupey color if they had like a lighter um warmer tone gray that definitely is something i'm interested in might just get the classic black but really do want to pick up a vest i like how puffy it is i like how chunky it is i love like we have a lot of in between days here where if you layer up right, a vest like that is kind of the perfect add-on. So I'm interested in that. I'm also interested in getting the super long uh, super puff. So what are we gonna, where are we here? So it's the super puff long. Now I would love, and there's three lengths, I would honestly probably get the tall just to make sure it's like really, really long. I'll just get it in black. They do have a charcoal color, which is nice as well, but I am a black gal with that sort of stuff. Um, the only reason I would get a tall is because I want it really long. I'm about five foot nine and their tall range says five, seven and above, but you know, eh, I, I hate that they did that. I wish that they had 
you know because like a tall range for me I think like when I think of like people who like need to go like who should fit into a tall range I don't think five foot seven is like that because like now we're tight like five 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 seven you know but anyways they've done this we're gonna have to deal on the tall if I were to get a second one a regular I would definitely get they have like a bunch of color like a beigey colors maybe a olivey green you know just something like that like something really like nice and easy like that but I just have wanted a super puff for quite a while I haven't gone around to getting it because I have just genuinely been lazy um I have had other things but this year I think I really need to get a new winter jacket um if you guys aren't familiar with <laughs> like where I live um I live in Toronto Ontario and I also split my time between like the uh like town outside of Toronto where my family lives so um we get a a special brand of winter here now Ontario winters are particularly notorious um in general like central Canadian and east coast American winters are particularly special but it gets very cold here it can be really windy it can be really snowy it can be really wet it can be really icy and a really good jacket like you know so I don't really want to like rebuy another Canada goose jacket if I'm being honest with you um it's just not super appealing to me right now I do want other like clothing items from Canada goose and like other things from Canada goose but I don't really want to right now spend that money on another goose jacket when there are potentially other good options on the market so the super puff is my first foray into that so yeah anyways that's just my thought of why i want to get the super puff so the first thing i want to get so i want to get another pair of the boyfriend high rise loose 28 length denim forum jeans i want to get these in a couple colors i have the white i really like them i'm definitely going to get a couple of shades of blue i really also want to get the denim forum 90s joni high rise loose 28 length and the arlo high rise straight 28 length weirdly enough so i really love a goldie denim but i find that denim forum is a surprisingly good I don't want to say dupe but comparable brand at about a fraction of the price i do love my a goldie don't get me wrong love love her but i also am am a fan of what of, of denim forums work i think it's good now from a goldie i would also get the 90s jeans potentially and the 90s pinch waist jean i don't think aritzia stocks the a goldie leather pants but if they did i would get those too but i don't think they do because they would directly like kind of compete with the molinas almost um but i am seriously considering the a goldie leather trousers because i do love my molinas but like the faux leather is good and i think that they are really good like going out pants really good just like casual throw on easy but i want to invest in something that's going to last me a little bit longer now now that i've decided sort of what style i like what shape i like i've gotten a little bit older and i think like now i've also like one of the things about fashion as well is especially as a woman your body fluctuates throughout the month throughout the years as you change as your hormones change as you're in different phases of your life depending on your routine and so i've just i've sort of reached a point right now where my body has sort of plateaued a little bit for it's been about the same for the last you know eight months a year and i have a good routine so granted no changes i'm hoping it'll you know so i feel comfortable now taking the plunge into that investment. Um, that's something that definitely isn't addressed a lot in the investment piece world, which is 
like your body fluctuates and investing a lot of money into like a pair of pants isn't always the most sound um, financial you know move you can make and sometimes you want to buy something that is higher quality that's going to last you a lot longer but you do need to resort or buy something that's not as expensive because you know that your body might fluctuate for instance if you are you know like my body at 18 is was very different from my body at 22 which is very different from my body today at 27 almost 28 so there's a lot that goes into it and i think you know i love capsule wardrobes and i love investing in my clothes but there's another side of it that i want to also acknowledge, which is that not everybody has that opportunity or feels comfortable doing it because of any number of reasons. So I just wanna say like, just the disclaimer is, I personally feel comfortable doing this, but I'm not gonna say that that's what everybody needs to do. There's certain things I think you should invest in, like good coats, um, like comfy, like workout, like good workout clothes, for instance, like non sheer workout clothes, but that's a different story. So anyways. Yeah, um, I think that's kind of like it. Now, I love my Levi's 70s high slim uh, straight jeans. I just don't love Levi's color selections as much. So I think I'm probably going to end up straying away from them. I might go for maybe like a different color, like a tan or something like that. But overall, I, I think I'm good on the Levi's. I... I have them, I love them, but I, you know what? I find myself reaching for them less because of the color that they are. And I think I just have to go in person and find the Levi's color that I like that I would wear the most. But that those are like the big ticket items, right? Like super puff vest, super puff long, couple pairs of new blue jeans just to like build out that wardrobe a little bit. Um, then, things that I want. So I keep trying to get my hands on effortless pants and they're just like my pre, like I buy them every single clientele sale and they're honestly always like, they keep getting pushed out, pushed out, pushed out. And I'm like, I'm just gonna cancel them because I'm gonna be able to you know, buy them wherever. So I might also get a pair of effortless pants. We will see, like I said, my you know thoughts and priorities on Aritzia. I love Aritzia, but just recently I, you know, think about where I, what I want to spend my money on and, you know, having tons of Aritzia clothes is really beautiful and, you know, I have such a good wardrobe and maybe I'm just at that point where I don't need as much. So I'm just picking up things to round out my closet. More tailored pants I definitely do need and love, but am I like dying to get my hands on them not necessarily two things though um two repurchases i will probably pick up one is another uh illustrator sweater or two from the group by babbitton slash maybe wilford i think and then the other i think i want is the yeah the snowbank sweatshirt slash like one of the aritzia fleeces I think they're a really good price in comparison to some of the other fleeces that I've been looking at. And they're really just for layering purposes. Most of the time right now, because I work so much from home, I'm very casual. So comfort and casual is key. Like I said, I'd rather be spending money on good quality leggings, active wear, good quality sweaters. But, you know, I don't need as many going out clothes and, you know, fancy dinners and all that sort of stuff. We're not doing that. Like, my friend Aaron and I are both we're talking about how this winter we're probably focused on saving money so that we can travel more together we have plans I want to do that I'm traveling a lot already with my boyfriend so me personally my priorities are different I can do a different list um, which is like what I would, would purchase but this is just what I actually currently have in my cart today and then I honestly don't really know, like that's what I, that's honestly what I have in my cart right now. Um, I might pick up some cashmere on sale just because I love cashmere sweaters. I think they're one of the few things that really keep me warm. 
maybe just like the basic, the group by Babton Mount Lux cashmere sweater or the, you know, turtleneck sweater or something like that. Just something really easy and basic, comfy, but that's, you know, kind of it. My cart this year is very minimal. I would always pick up socks. I really do love Aritzia socks and I'm probably just gonna get a few more pairs of those and um, maybe a couple more like perfect crew neck sweaters. Like I do love Aritzia sweat fleece, but that is about it. I am going minimal this year because I do have some big ticket items with the super puff. So monetary, like dollar wise, my card is probably gonna be very comparable to other years, but I'm just focusing on you know, those those larger items and I'm trying to not be tempted by anything else. But yeah, that is everything I have in my cart currently for the Aritzia clientele sale that's coming up probably sometime end of November. By the time you guys see this, the clientele sale probably will be maybe a week or two away. It just depends on when I edit this and get it up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked my clientele picks guys are shopping clientele let me know and as always the grand debate of what the clientele tiers are who gets called when and when you have access to it of course please have that in my comments i every year want to know and i kind of feel like there's some sort of there's not really a conspiracy behind it but there's kind of a conspiracy behind it all so let me know and if you guys hear anything, of course, share the dates, share what's going on. And there are always now two different dates, one for the US and one for Canada. So do keep that in mind that if somebody's dates are different than yours, they may just be in the US. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.